and welcome to the Art of Online Marketing live show. This is attempt number two because, well, this um, platform that I'm using doesn't seem to want to work properly. So again, let me just go and double check and make sure that this is streaming. Okay, I see me. Is there sound? There is sound. Okay, so excellent. Welcome to the Art of Online Marketing a live show. Today we're doing something a little bit different because I have a special announcement to share with you. I've been sharing it, um, teasing you really, on social media about a big announcement that I have for you today. So, what is the announcement? Drum roll, please. That really just shakes my laptop and does nothing. But what I want to share with you today is my rebrand. Now, I am really excited about this rebrand. I've been working on it with some professionals for, for what feels like a really long time. And I'm really excited to put that out into the world and share it with all of you. So this rebrand involves three big pieces. So first is the actual rebrand, the new branding and visually uh, what things look like. Number two is a brand new gorgeous website. Number three is a name change. So we'll get to all of those in just a minute. So let's go for it. So first of all, the rebrand. This entire activity was based on the fact that I wanted to um, elevate, if you will, my brand. I, I, it was time to go through a branding activity. When I started my business or whatever iteration of the business that was at the time, I never actually went through a, a branding activity. The Stratigro logo that I have now was created by a friend of mine who's actually a great graphic designer, a videographer, photographer, and does all those things really, really well. Uh, but all I had was the, the logo and we as smart business owners, we know that a logo does not equate a brand. I didn't have a brand strategy, brand style guide, fonts, colors, or anything. I literally only had this logo and, and various files of it. So I did the best that I could with, with what I had. I tried to follow the colors and, and the vibe that I wanted for, for the business. Um, but we all know that I'm not a graphic designer and um, really all of these pieces were, were ad hoc. It was like just adding puzzle pieces on and, and creating something out of this little thing that I had. So uh, I rolled with it and I brought it as far as I could. And then about a year ago, I decided that, okay, it was time to go through a branding activity and actual create actually create a brand for my business um, visually and in like all the pieces that go with the brand. Let's, let's just put it that way. So it's time for it. I've been in business long enough. Uh, the, the logo that I had was created when my business was much different. And so it was time to, to do that and just level things up. So who was I going to call to do my rebrand other than brand strategist and my business bestie, Brittany Pickram? So we went through a whole bunch of activities, some questionnaires, uh, looking at photos on Pinterest, which I'm really good at, um, doing the actual things you find on Pinterest, not so much, but looking at things, yeah, I'm a pro at that. <laughs> so we looked at images, colors, just things that I liked. Um, we looked at fonts a little bit and imagery and that kind of stuff. And so she put those together and created three separate um, potential brand vision boards, if that's what it's called. If not, I made that up. But she created three separate ones and it was up to me to pick which one I felt best fit with my personality and what I wanted for the, the brand of my business. Now, something that's important to note here is when I was like, imagining in the future what my brand was gonna be. I was picturing like fancy and pretty and royal and pastels, um, but that is not what it ended up being. That was um, a silly thought because, well, that's really, really not me. That's just what I was seeing other people doing. But anyway, so she came up with three options. And so the first option was cheeky and fun and bright and bold and involves some silly cats. Number two was kind of dark and boring. I obviously didn't pick this one, but it, it really didn't feel like me. It was a little bit on the 
borderline of being a bit corporate. And then the third one was like pastels, light pink, florally, um, things that are very in and Instagrammable, but aren't really me either because they're they're a little bit um like generic. <laughs> okay, so I went with cheeky and fun, <laughs> yay. Um, so if you see weird cats, that's what it is. But probably be like weird dogs more than that. So <laughs> in addition to um that and some of the, the visuals and imagery. She also added in a few complimentary colors to go along with the the bright blue teal that I have for Stratigro. So we added in a bright pink, uh, golden yellow, and, and, and that kind of stuff and fonts and all the other things that go into brand strategy, which I'm not a brand strategist, so just trust me that they're all in there. <laughs> so that is the, the actual rebrand. Fun and bold and bright and cheeky and cats and dogs and unicorns. So fun, but not childish. So that is number one. Number two is actually the website. So I knew that if I was going to go through this branding activity, I was going to want to um, show that to the world with a brand new website. So again, the website that I had up until now, I actually created that a, a few years ago and at the time I felt like I had done a, a pretty good job with it um, but I wanted to work with a professional to really step that up and create things that I, I know that I'm not capable of because it's not really in my wheelhouse in terms of visuals in terms of website flow and all the things that go into a website that someone who's not a web designer or coder or whatever we want to call you just doesn't know how to do and what to do that. So until Crystal Picard. And so we worked together on, on all the content. She told me um, like what I needed to provide her with to put on that, um, some of the workflow, what I wanted to share, who my audience is um, and all that. And she took that plus the new branding and made it all look amazing. Um, so the website looks beautiful. Um, it's very user friendly. The flow makes sense. I am told <laughs> again, that's not my forte. So, um, I don't know. I think it's nice and it's great copy and calls to action and everything is great and wonderful. And I love the way it looks. I'm going to show you a quick preview. So bear with me just cause, um, when I was trying to set this up, Things weren't really working the way I wanted to. So here's the website. Um, there it is. There is me. I had just eaten a whole bunch of chocolates and that's why I'm quite happy. Um, so, so you can see the brand in here, like that blue um, and then the bright pink and the golden yellow along with some little uh, like social media doodads. Um, so it, you guys can go and see this after for yourselves, but I'm just gonna give you a quick preview So this is the home page. And so it's really about who I am what I do what I offer um, some happy words from some happy customers and And overall just just a preview. So that is like page number one um, and then you'll be able to go and see like all of these other pages that that go on a website so again me just ate the chocolates i had also just drank two lattes so yummy um that's why i'm smiling that much so you can go and book your discovery calls and do all the things that you expect to be able to do on a website and then the blog the blog looks amazing compared to before so instead of just a funky list it's just a little bit of um a preview of what the the, the video is or, or what the um, blog is going to be about and the title and you can go over and and watch slash read the rest and do that over there and so I think that that looks so so good I'm really happy about that so hope you take a few minutes to go in and um, see see that you can tell like when I stop making the, the thumbnails um, the thumbnails I I having a lot of fun with those by the way if you're wondering um and then you know about me I think most of you know if you watch the show you know a whole bunch about me already but you can go over and read that this is me like pretending to be super cool <laughs> with my like 
fancy dress um, and yeah create your own content a little bit about me um, yeah so that, I mean that is the gist of, of what's on the website let me bring you back to me that is what's on the website you can head over there and that's gonna be at deniseallison.com and you can go see that beautiful website for yourself so take a few minutes to read it to look at the the blogs the blog pages the videos um and just look at every single piece and let me know what you think about it because i'm really happy about how it's turned out so far and if there's anything again if there's anything funky just uh let me know what what that is and um we'll um go ahead and and fix that so <laughs> so that's it that's number two the the brand new website so i'm really happy about how that looks and i hope you are too but if you aren't i don't really care because i love it <laughs> All right, so number three, um, you may have noticed just now when I showed you the website and gave you the, the URL, or you may have noticed some like slight minor changes happening on my social media over the past couple of months. But here's the thing. The third change is that I'm changing the name, or I, I yeah, it's a name change, and really I have decided to drop the name Stratigro. So this is a big change for me just because it, it's something that I've kind of embraced as, as part of me and and uh, put a lot of work and time and effort into building that brand and that idea and that part of the business. But I decided for various reasons that it's time to drop the business name and just go by Denise Allison. Now, let's show you a few reasons why. So number one is, wait, let me make sure that I have things set up before I send you to them. Um, okay, so let's go back to show you my screen. And again, this is this could be much um, more seamless. What did I even do here? This could be much more seamless, but um, when I was setting things up this morning into OBS, they weren't quite doing what I wanted. So hopefully you can hear this. This episode is brought to you by Stratego Business Line Online Consulting. Stratego Stratigro Stratrug Stratigro 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 Strat Just change the name. Alright, so reason number one, if you didn't get it by those couple of really short videos, is people had a really hard time pronouncing the business name. Now, the the thought behind the business name Stratigra was it was kind of a play on the words strategic growth. And that's because when I first started with that name, I wasn't doing social media. I was I was doing more like helping businesses grow, um, strategic growth plans, and business strategy kind of stuff. So I I had enjoyed giving it the name Stratigro, but everyone pronounced it differently. People had a hard time saying it or remembering it, or it was just a really hard word to say. And when people would present me or read my bio or do any of those things, it always ended up coming out muffled or butchered or, or what have you, which is not really great for, for your brand presence if no one can say your name and whenever it's shared with people that it comes out all muffly and funny. So number one was people generally had a hard time pronouncing it. Number two is I just have outgrown the name. Like I said, when I first um, started with that name, I was doing much different things in my business. So, uh, like, I had tried to give it life multiple times, and, and the meaning of it changed over time, but I just felt like it had run its course. It didn't really make sense for the business anymore, like social media, strategic growth. Yeah, it kind of makes sense, but but it wasn't, like, straight on hitting the nail on the head making sense in terms of the, the business. So I had outgrown it. Um, it. It felt like something from a former life, from a former business, and it was just time to move on from it. And number three, which is, you know, kind, kind of um, in line with <laughs> number two, but is a whole other thing, is that 
as my business has grown, I have become 100% the face of my business. And it just made so much more sense to go with that and run with it instead of having to create awareness, both of me as a social media strategist and a speaker and um, bring awareness and visibility to a separate entity that is a business name. So it just made so much more sense to do that when I go and speak at an event or I go and do training or I go and do this. It's just Denise Allison. It's not Denise Allison, the founder of Stratigro, because that in itself didn't, it, the, like the brand itself, it had the meaning that I gave to it as a personal brand. So it didn't make sense for me to continue to um, break up, if you will, my, my time and energy and resources trying to create awareness of both of them. So I decided it was just best to drop that and just go full out representing me. I am the business. If, if you hire my business, you're gonna be working with me. Um, everything that's created in my business, I have a hand in. So it just made so much more sense to me. There's definitely people out there who are gonna say, well, you can't, you know, you can't sell your business if it's based on you. And you know, all of those silly things. But at this point, that is not my my like general going concern. My concern is creating awareness of me working with clients, um, having the the guts to put my name on something, saying yes, I did that. This is the work that I did, and and really being proud of that, and and continuing to grow my business based on me, my abilities, um, my efforts, and and the relationships that I built. So that is number three, the name. So as you saw over on the website, I, I'm not gonna flip back over there because it creates like the whole um, screen in itself and it probably gives you a migraine. But but so instead of a logo, it's just like some um, font, like I forget what it's called, but a word mark, I think it's called. So it, it's just gonna be Denise Allison and really the, the story behind how the the word mark looks is that I signed my name on a piece of paper and Brittany went ahead and searched like every font in the world and, and found this one that was closest to my actual um, signature. So if you see me sign something, it's actually quite similar to how that looks, except it's a little bit more like childish. <laughs> All right, so those are the three pieces of, of my brand relaunch. Go ahead and check out my website, deniseallison.com. You'll notice a few changes on my social media where um, the, the name Stratigra will be dropped. So right here on um, Facebook, it will become Denise Allison, social media strategist. Same on, on LinkedIn, um, Twitter. There wasn't anything that had to be changed on Twitter. So that, that's easy. And um, Instagram, no Instagram either. So those are the changes, the, the rebrand, the new website, and the the name change. So I hope that you love everything that you see. Um, I would love if you could share some of those pieces with with your audience and your your contacts and your network. That I would I would love for you to share this effort that we've all put into this uh, with anyone who might care. And um, yeah, let me know your feedback and hope. Hope that you love it, like I said. And so I'll see you all next week for another episode. Back to our regular episodes of The Art of Online Marketing. All right, everyone, have a great day.